hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute little elephant it's really small as you can see this is how it fits uh, onto my arms so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one kind of yarn I use uh, this kind of yarn it's a small one it's the robin yarn and also I use a crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters okay and that's all you're gonna need so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the legs and for the legs we're going to make two of them so we're going to do the first one then cut the yarn and for the second one you're not going to cut the yarn you're going to join the two together okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and then four single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three and four okay and then i'm going to pull the yarn to close the gap okay so after that i'm going to place my marker over here okay so now in our second row we're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of eight single crochets so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing in the next stitch. You're also going to increase Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochets. Okay, and then also I'm going to continue into the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. And the last one also do two single crochets. Okay, so now we have a total of eight stitches. So now in our third row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around and we are going to repeat that until the fifth row so for the next three rows which is from row three until row five we're going to do single crochet in every round for a total of eight stitches in every round so you're going to do single crochet and then continue doing single crochet In the next stitch two okay so you're going to continue like that until you're done with the row and also for the next uh, two rows which is row four and row five Okay, so after you're done with the row five, you're going to cut your yarn. You're going to come up with something that looks like this. So this is the first leg. And when you're done with the second leg, don't cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two legs together. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done until the fifth row so that we join the two legs together. Okay, so now we're going to join the two legs together. And to join the two legs together, I'm going to go into the next leg where I left off. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so I'm doing I'm just going to slip stitch. Okay, and then after that I'm going to continue doing single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to have a total of 16 stitches. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing single crochet. And 
and then single crochet and I'm going to continue doing that all the way around until I get where my marker is And when you count your stitches, they're supposed to be 16 stitches. Okay, so after you finish with the second the first leg you're going to continue into the second leg and continue doing single crochet Okay, so continue doing that until you get here where the marker is. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our second row of the body, we are also going to do single crochet all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue all the way around until the end. Okay, so now before we, we continue, make sure you stuff your legs. As you can see, I've already started stuffing mine. Okay, so now we're going to continue uh, to the third row of the body. And we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches. Then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, and single crochet, two, and then we're going to decrease in the next row. So you're going to go into the front loop of the first stitch, pull through, and the back loop of the next stitch, pull through, and pull through all the three loops together. Okay, so that's one decrease, and then we're going to continue like that. So two single crochet and decrease and we're going to keep repeating that all the way. going to decrease in the last stitch okay so now we have a total of 12 stitches okay so now in the next two rows which is row 14 and row 15 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row okay so I'm going to continue by doing single crochet single crochet, 
single crochet okay so you're going to continue all the way around until the end and also for the next row which is row five do single crochet all the way around and then i'll see when you're done with row five so that we start the sixth row together okay so after you're done with the fifth row this is how it should look like so make sure you continue stuffing as you continue okay so now in our sixth row which is the last row of the body we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all around for a total of nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet and then we're going to decrease and then we're going to continue do single crochet single crochet and decrease And then repeat that again Okay, so after we're done with that, I'm just going to go into the next stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch and then we're going to cut the yarn. Okay, and then after you're done with that, make sure you stuff all the way until it's fully stuffed. And then after that, we're going to start making the head. Okay, so now for the head, we're going to start with the magic ring first. And then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and six Okay, so I'm just going to place my marker over here. Okay, so now in our second row, we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same in all the other stitches. So I'm also going to increase. Okay, so increase in the next stitch too. Okay, so you're going to continue increasing until here where the marker is. Okay, so after that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so continue repeating that single crochet 
and increase okay so repeat all the way round okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches okay so I'm going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two and increase in the next stitch and then I'm going to keep repeating that single crochet one single crochet two and increase okay so repeat that again single crochet one single crochet two and increase okay so we're going to keep repeating all the way around until the end okay so after we've done it that for the next three rows which is from row five until row seven we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row okay so i'm going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way until row seven so i'll see you when you're done with your seventh row so that we start the eighth row together okay so after the seventh row this is how the, he the head looks like so now in our eighth row we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all the way for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two then we're going to decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet And then decrease okay so we're going to keep repeating that all the way around okay so two single crochet and decrease Okay, so continue repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our row nine we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way for a total of 12 stitches so I'm going to do single crochet and then decrease and we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so we're going to continue repeating that all the way around single crochet and decrease okay so repeat all the way to the end okay so after we're done with that in our tenth row which is our last row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all the way for a total of nine stitches okay so this is this will be the last row of the head so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that single crochet one and single crochet two and decrease and repeat that again to the end Okay, so after we're done with that, I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch. 
and then I'm going to cut off the yarn so long enough for sewing okay and then after that you're going to stuff the head until it's fully stuffed okay so make sure you stuff all the way until it's round enough okay so as you can see this is how i've stuffed my head i've stuffed my head and this is how it looks like so now we're going to start making the arms and the arms are quite easy so what we do we'll start with the magic ring and four single crochet into the magic ring just like the way we did with the legs and now for the second row of the arms uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch then increase and repeat for a total of six stitches so i'm going to do single crochet in the next stitch and then i'm going to increase in the next stitch And then I'm going to repeat one more time. So I do single crochet. And then increase in the last stitch. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, for the next three rows, which is from row three until row five, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row until the end for a total of um, six stitches in each row. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet all the way around and then you're going to have something that looks like this, okay? So do single crochet for the next three rows and then you're when you're done, you're going to cut off your yarn and also make the other arm. And then after that, I'll show you how to make the trunk. So now for the trunk, we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my yarn. Okay, so after that, for the next four rounds, which is from row, uh, round two until round five, we're going to do single crochet all the way in each round for a total of six stitches in each round. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, single crochet, five, and single crochet, six. Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet even in the third row until the fifth row. So I'll see you when you're done with the fifth row so that we start the sixth row together. Okay, so after you're done with the fifth row, this is how our trunk looks like. So now in our sixth row, we're going to do to start by doing single crochet. And then we're going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, and 
and then after that in the next one we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches and then we're going to increase in the next stitch Okay, and then after that in the last stitch we are going to do single crochet okay so now we have a total of eight stitches okay so after that uh, in our seventh round we're going to do three single crochet then increase and then repeat until the end for a total of ten stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then increase and then we're going to be that again so three single crochet And increase in the last stitch okay so after that uh, in our eighth round we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first two stitches so we're going to do single crochet and single crochet and then we're going to increase in the next stitch okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay and then we're going to increase in the next stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet and single crochet in the last stitch okay so after that uh, in our ninth round which is our last round we're going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet all the way to the end Okay, and then when you get to the end you're just going to slip stitch and cut the yarn so leave long enough for sewing okay so after you're done with that you're going to stuff the trunk and then after that we're going to begin making the ears okay so now for the ears we're going to start by uh, making the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring I already did that so in our second row we're going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to increase in the first stitch 
and then we're going to keep increasing all the way round Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that, single crochet, increase. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our fourth round, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat four times. So we're going to do two single crochet and increase repeat the second time two single crochet and increase and then repeat again the third time two single crochet and increase and repeat the fourth time with which is the last time to a single crochet and increase okay so we have a total of 19 stitches so we're not going to work until the end so we're just going to turn and make a chain one okay and then after that we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat four times okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three then increase the first time then single crochet one two three then increase the second time okay then again the third time Okay, and then for the fourth time, so single crochet one, two, three, and then increase the fourth time. Okay, and then after we're done with that, uh, in the remaining two stitches, we're going to do single crochet and then increase. So I'm going to do single crochet and increase in the last stitch. Okay, so after that we're going again to turn and do a chain one. So now for the sixth row, which is the last row. 
Okay, we are going to slip stitch all the way around until the end. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch and you're going to continue slip stitching all the way around. Okay, so continue slip stitching all the way around until here at the end. And when you're done, your ear is gonna look like this. So when you're done, cut the yarn long enough for sewing. Because when we're sewing this part, we're going to to attach it or sew it like this so that we attach it looking like this on the head okay so and then after that when you're done with all the parts I'll show you how to join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I finished attaching all the parts together so first I attached the arms to the body first and then I attach the head. So make sure uh, the arms and the ears are all proportional on one line. And same goes to the other side. And also the trunk, I attach it between the one, two, three, four, five, from the fifth row until the end. Okay, and I decided to embroider some black eyes because I don't have the small doll eyes. So I think it looks cute that way too okay so that's all guys so i hope you enjoyed making this video if you have any questions you can comment in the comments below and please check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel until next time bye